So after a few successful experiment videos, I have decided today to bring out another one. And today's concept is how would a team of five star skillers get on in the Premier League? And today we're going to go ahead and find that out. So we've stuck all the five star skillers in career mode, or all the gold ones, into the usual side of Burnley. We've got players like Neymar, Ronaldo, Pogba, Ribéry. Charisma Mares, but we have a, an abundant lack of defenders, which is going to be a challenge for this. But I believe with like the 90 rated players and with like the 94 rated players, I think we could do pretty good. I've got accidentally got George Boyd and um, Giuliano in there. Um, obviously, I forgot to take George Boyd out, and Giuliano is a four star. I think he got downgraded from a five star. But let's see how we get on with players like Nani, Shirawi, Bufau. Gabriel Jesus, Douglas Costa, players like that. Let's see how we get on in the Premier League. And let's skip all the way to January the 1st. So January rolled around. And let's go take a look at our league standing. We've got a game against Manchester City tomorrow. But obviously we're not going to be able to see the score of that. But let's take a look at our league standing. Things are not looking good with a 65 manager rating. Um, I'm going to quickly check out... Our league standing and hopefully it's good. Hopefully we actually get a half decent position in the midpoint. I know we'll get a terrible position, but obviously I don't know why I looked at my messages then. But let's actually get straight into the league. Come on, hurry up please. Hurry up please. We've got £167.16 million pounds worth of profit. So I don't think that I don't I don't know what's going on there. But obviously you can see Neymar's gone up one rating, Pogba's gone up one rating and um, Ronaldo and Charisma have gone down and we're sitting in the lowly 14th position on the 1st of January which is awful we have only scored 19 goals which is the joint worst in the league that's embarrassing we've got 20 points out of 19 games so that's probably the average of a point a game which isn't great with players like Neymar Ronaldo but I think our defence is really letting us down at the moment and our strike force as well with the amount of goals but we're going to simulate to the last game of the season and check out who has been our top scorer our top assist and see where we finished at the end of the season before we go ahead and skip to the end of the season we're going to take a look at our squad report and as you can see Ronaldo's gone down one rating but a lot of our young players have actually been boosted in this short amount of time obviously Usman Dembele they're getting a plus two rating but we're going to see how we've done at the end of the season and where we're placed so we're going to skip all the way to i think it's the may the 20 may the 20th yeah may the 20th just before our game with west ham and we're going to simulate a game with, against west ham and see how we do on the day so as may the 20th approaches and our game before west ham i thought at this point our league position was going to increase and i actually thought we were going to get a very high finish but it did turn out that Tom Heaton, Tom Heaton, our only keeper, the only keeper that I put in was injured. So this meant that we didn't have a keeper and we're not going to have a keeper for the West Ham game, which is a bit of a bummer. But let's go ahead and simulate until the West Ham game and um, check out what the score was because we're going to simulate that and we're going to watch the game go by. So, one game before the end of the season, we're going to go ahead and check out our league standings. Not before I actually, this is the time when I noticed that Tom Heaton was injured. So, at this point, we had to put Gabriel Jesus in goal. And he's not the tallest of fellas, and he's not the, um, he's not the, um, the heaviest of fellas. So, I'm not saying you have to be heavy to be a goalkeeper. But you can't be, you can't be thin. You can't, you can't be scrawny and horrible and, and really, really skinny. But let's check out our league standing. And I don't know why I'm taking that long on the actual recording. But um, as you can see, we drew 2 2 to um, Bournemouth. But we're finishing in 11th position, which is absolutely awful. But kind of thinking about it, it's, it's kind of not because we didn't really have any defenders to actually do, um, to actually back us up in any in any way at all. We had three at the back, and none of them were defending or had any experience of defending. But we're going to go ahead and sim this game against West Ham. As you can see, there is um, it's telling us that Tom Heaton's injured, so we're going to auto replace the unavailable player and save this change. So 
Gabriel Jesus in goal. I don't know. I actually can't remember the score of this game. Um, but let's see, let's see what happens. Jesus in goal number 33. There we have Marlos, Di Maria, Maxin, Thiago, Charisma, Ribery, Pogba, Mares, Ronaldo, and Neymar. We're going to let it play out. I don't. Th I think I skipped it. I think I might have skipped it later in the game. But nothing much is happening, to be honest. And literally the half time, and nothing has happened. Oh, we've got some substitutes there. But how is how is Gabriel Jesus keeping his clean sheet? It looks like the game's going to finish nil nil, and that is amazing for for a little lad like Gabriel Jesus to keep a clean sheet against West Ham is pretty decent. But we haven't scored with Ronaldo, Neymar, and Usman Dembele up front, which is a tiny bit embarrassing for us, to be honest. But you kind of can understand it. So that concludes the experiment. Actually, I've just seen Manchester City finishing below Crystal Palace is pretty, pretty weird. But anyway, um, that is the end of that experiment. And that is what happens if you stick five star skillers in the Premier League and where they'll finish. They'll finish in mid table along with the likes of Swansea and Watford. But thank you guys very much for watching this video. The support on the channel at the moment has been amazing. We're so close to hitting 500 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. And I think I've got a special video planned for that. But like the video if you did enjoy and subscribe if you are new around here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.